All right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. Wild Card Wednesday. We're going to be talking about another RTA today. This is this comes from Watofo out of China, and this is their Conqueror RTA. It is a lot like the Serpent in a lot of ways. It's a little bit like the K-Fun in, in a couple ways. It's got a postless deck in there, which is a little weird and fiddly to work with, but in order to get to know this just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close, as we always do. Quick, short, up, and closey time, right? <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. What we have here is the Watofo Conqueror Postless R. TA. It's a lot like the serpent as far as opening and closing the juice fill. You fill it up from the top like this. There's that. You close off your juice by spinning this very small knurled ring right here. It's not ideal, in my opinion, to turn this tiny, tiny little ring, but it does work. You can close the juice flow all the way down, blah, fill your juice in there, and then give it like one, two, three, four turns and get that juice flowing again. Nice big wide open airflow slots that are adjustable. It's not clicky in any way. They don't click into place, but it is a nice smooth motion. When they stay open, they stay open. If you want to close them off, you can close them off. Deck just screws out of the bottom, and there's a look at the deck right there. Now, I somehow managed to fit dual-fused Claptons in here, which was kind of interesting because the holes for your leads are in the base of the deck, okay? And you have to kind of eyeball how far down they need to go. There's little hex screws right here that capture your leads on both sides, and that makes a face. But yeah, hex screws right there will capture your leads that are going down into the deck. Interesting design for an RTA. I don't think it's ideal or perfect, but it kind of works. It kind of works really well. Now, you have to build small coils in this deck. I don't know why I tried to, tried to do fused Claptons in here. I just like the way they vape, so I thought I'd throw them in here. But really, a smaller, like, 24-gauge, 22-gauge round wire build would probably work a lot better in here. But you know what? It works, and it works all right. It's easy to wick, which that's what we're going to do now. Going to be running this on my Lazy Vape. SX350J version 2 box. Coils are glowing nice and evenly. And what you need to do is just wick through the center of the coil and leave the ends kind of exposed. This is where your juice is going to be hitting your wick. So you don't want to pack it full of cotton, but you don't want too little cotton because then you get into a flooding type of situation. So like I said, it's a little bit fiddly, but that's kind of what you want to do with your cotton. It's not as clean as it could be, but basically I put my cotton through there, I put it in these little notches, and then I just kind of cut it flush with the threads. So when the threads come down, that's what's controlling your juice flow and they go up on that chimney and that's what's opening up your juice flow. So you don't want them to be too tight or too loose. RTAs are always, always, always just a balancing act of cotton and juice flow. Too much cotton causes burnt hits, too little cotton causes flooding situations. So you kind of need to get it you know, just right. And it's a hard thing to explain. You kind of just have to experiment around with it. So I got it all wicked up. And what you want to do before you put the tank on completely is just get the cotton in here, you know, just a little bit wet. You don't want to flood it. You don't want to go bananas. Just get it a little bit wet all around, all around your, whoop, that, well, that drip went way too far. Kind of around your coils on the wicks just like that. Make sure it produces vapors. Yes, which it does. So now we got to fill up the tank. So the tank's going to get screwed on all the way down. And then you're going to use this tiny little nubbiny bit part to screw down the juice flow all the way. Now the windows on here don't make it ideal for viewing your juice flow, but what you want to do before you fill it up, just screw this down all the way. Just keep screwing this clockwise until it's nice and snug, and now you know your juice flow is closed off. Blech. So we got a full tank, top goes on, a lot like the K-Fun Mini version 3, a lot like the Serpent as well, and when you get that top on, you can kind of see it's 
little bit knurled right there. There's a little bit of a, a grippiness to it. You have to turn this middle, this tiny little ring, maybe one, two, three turns, and that's going to open your juice flow back up. So we have open juice flow. We got a full tank. Let's get back out to normal view. Let's vape this already. Now that deck in there is just a fiddly little deck. It's difficult to build on. It's difficult to set your coils in and kind of pinch and pulse and get them glowing all good. And I've discovered that just the strips and then tucked into the edges, that seems to be the way to go. I don't get any dry hits and I don't get any leaking. This is a 0.2 ohm build. I have it set to 77 watts. It's giving me 4.3 volts. The one thing that the Conqueror really shines in, it's not airflow, although the airflow is nice and swooshy, it's flavor, man. The flavor on this Conqueror is just championship flavor. I love it. I love the flavor on this. Very, very nice performance I'm getting out of these Dual Fuse Claptons, but man, the flavor on this tank is just great. This is one of the best tasting RTA tanks I've ever had. Now, in order to get this flavor, am I willing to put up with that wonky, wonky deck? Uh, maybe. It's wonky, but you know what? It's not impossible, okay? You just have to kind of take your time and really dedicate to that moment of building. And the first time I built this, I failed miserably. I was trying out 24 gauge niachrome wire in there and I was failing miserably, just miserably. I couldn't set them in there right. I couldn't pinch and pulse them right. So I'm like, forget it. So I put it to the side for about 24 hours and then I wanted to try it again. So I built up some tiny little fuse claptons. You build small little coils, got them in there, measured, cut, wicked, vaped. And the vape experience that I got from it was great. It's really good. Now, are you going to need your vape budget hands for this? Watofo well, sent me over a link that is their preferred link, and it's from China. It's Heaven's Gifts. 30 bucks. That's it. Watofo well, Conqueror, 30 bucks. Yeah, no big deal at all. Now, if we're playing the Aliens game, and I have no RTAs and no vape gear, is the Conqueror something I would seek out and buy? Maybe? I don't know. I want to say it would be a strong maybe. It might not be the first RTA that I go out and buy, but it would definitely be like strongly considered for like maybe the fourth or something like that. I really enjoy this flavor that I get from it, but the build deck is so weird and wonky and hard to wick. It's like you have to trade off, well, am I willing to put up with this deck for this flavor or am I not willing to put up with the deck for this flavor? I don't know. I don't know if I'm willing to put up with the deck for the flavor. I want to say maybe. Overall, the Conqueror is really well made. It's really nice, put together very well. There's a uh, kind of a window here on the bottom where you can see how your juice flow is going, and there's a window on the top so you can see kind of where your juice level is. It's a nice looking atomizer. It's a nice performing atomizer, and it's a nice flavor atomizer if you're willing to put up with that deck but i'm going to stop rambling right now it is what it is and it is the conquer and i'll have links down in the description where you can check it out but thank you so much for watching everybody and as always yeah let's keep on vaping that's enough